this mom strength term is, I think you see it, players elevate after they give birth, in my opinion, and people will tell you all the time, I'm a different player than I was before I had birth to my, a lot of that comes with maturity as well, but just the toughness that I play with and um, the, like the hunger and like the drive and the, the heart that I play with, I think it comes from giving birth and it's, it's just different, like you become a mom and it's different. <laughs> Uh, I found out I was pregnant um, because I was late. <laughs> and so I took a pregnancy test as soon as I got home. Um, the season had just ended, so I had just gotten back to Missouri. And um, I'm not super regular, so it wasn't really weird for me to be late. So I was like, oh, maybe it's okay. And then I kind of just had this feeling, so I bought a test and um, Alex was in New York and I took it, it was positive. And I was like, okay, I'll wait till he comes home. He was supposed to be home the next day. And I was like, no, I called him right away. He's in an Uber. I was like, okay, I'll wait till he gets to the apartment. And then he just blurted out, I'm like, I'm pregnant. We were both shocked. I mean, she, like I said, she was a surprise, the best surprise ever, but we definitely weren't planning on becoming pregnant. So um, right away, he was super supportive and excited. And we just started planning about what our next year was gonna look like. What well, went through my head when I found out I was pregnant I was really in shock. You know that your life is gonna change forever when that happens, and so I was kind of just processing that. I did have fear um, when I found out because, again, it's like I have no idea what I'm doing, and she wasn't planned, so it's not like I um, had time emotionally to like think about everything that goes with it. And so I was really scared about, you know, I wanna be a good mother, how am I gonna do that? Um, how am I gonna raise her the way that I want to? Again, thinking about the season, what am I gonna do for that? What's my plan gonna be to come back? Just a lot of unknown. And so um, just the you know uncertainty that comes with that kind of was all running through me. What happened? I don't see it happening. All right, ready? One, two, three. Oh, oh, oh slow on the job, hold oh, slow. Flying back from Minnesota, <laughs> um, I remember the night before the flight, we like we had a game, and we were at the hotel, and my teammates were drinking, and something in me, I would have had a drink or two, but something in me was like, don't drink this drink, don't drink this drink. Didn't drink the drink, got on the flight, we were landing, and I literally felt like nauseous, and I knew it, like in my heart, like I was just like, I'm pregnant. As soon as I got in my car, drove to CVS, got the pregnancy test, I came back, I was pregnant, and. I, Alex Montgomery was the first person that I told. And my sisters were all at the house and I was like crying. And I didn't tell them, but I stepped outside and they saw, I like Google uh, accuracy on like pregnancy tests. <laughs> and I stepped outside and they all came running out and they were like, so what are we having? And I just was like bawling in tears. I was in my second year. I had a decent first year uh, until my injury. So I was kind of felt like I was back in redemption mode the second year and I knew that this was a possibility that I was gonna have to sit out once I told my coaches and the organization that I was expecting. Wait, face mommy, face mommy. But look at me. Face mommy, but look at me. No way. And smile, smile at me. Cheese. Keep the arms in front of you. Woo, yes girl, you know what you're doing. My mom was a young mom. I think I think she was 17 when she had me. And so growing up, I always kind of knew I wanted to be a young mom. Uh, I wasn't sure what it would look like, but I knew I wanted to be a young mom. I think I've always wanted to be a mom. And my mom had me pretty young. She was 22 when she had me, and I always wanted to be a young mom. And then I got to 22, I'm like, eh, maybe not. <laughs> um, but. She was the best surprise ever, and um, I love being a mom. I am so thankful that I came into the league when I did because it was right on the tails of the new CBA, um, which gives so many things to new mothers that we didn't have before. So um, if I had decided to sit out this entire season, if I don't play a single game, I still get my entire paycheck, which is huge. Um, I get a two-bedroom apartment paid for fully, which is huge. Um, you get a stipend for childcare. You get so many things that allow you to come back and be a working mom that you know the men obviously don't have to worry about that kind of thing. They can have a baby one day and play a game the very next day, and we don't have that luxury. And so it's really important for us to have these kind of resources to help us get back on our feet and help us be able to play the game that we love and to work. My team has been awesome from the very beginning, supporting me through this whole journey. Um, 
and you know, Cheryl had the conversation with me and she's like, we should have done this a long time ago, but now they put in like a nursing station. We have childcare for during um, practices and games, which is a huge relief because it's someone who's been vetted by the team. Um, and so you kind of trust them a little bit more than you know a stranger, which is really hard to leave something so precious with someone that you don't know. Um, so things like that, just making sure that emotionally, you know, I'm good, making sure that I'll have the resources that I need when I come back to the team. Everybody's super involved in helping raise Amaya, and, you know, initially I feel like when you're first, when you first become a mother, you don't want anyone to, like, do that. You're kind of, you're get. I feel like a little possessive, you're like, no, this is my baby, I don't want anybody touching it, I don't want to, but I think by the first year, you're kind of like, I can't do this by myself, so thankful for all the women that are in her life and it's even, like you said, my teammates, her grandparents, friends, other family. But my teammates, uh, I appreciate them a lot during the season because they do things like she's close with Teresa and Kelsey Plum and they come and pick her up and spend time with her. And I think it's just refreshing for her at times as well. Sorry, let me see. Let me see. What's inside? Oh! What's inside? All right, let me see. How are you going to add a five right there? Hold this. I give obviously so much credit to the women that came before me in the league who laid the groundwork for this and they're the reason that I have the benefits that I do, um, that I don't have the fear to tell my team that I'm pregnant and I don't have to worry about such a wonderful thing having a negative impact you know, on my life in any way with being able to work and not being worried about not being able to provide. Um, again, because of the new CBA and the women that came before me and fought so hard for what we have now, I'm able to, you know, I was able to call my coach right away without fear of losing my job. But traditionally, it's like if you have a kid, um, you know, your life is over. You can't, you can't go out anymore. You can't, you have to take care of the baby all the time. And it's not that way. I am a mother, but that's not all that I am is really important to me and so I, I want to set an example for her as well that you can do whatever you want to do you don't have to be defined by just one thing. I think women can do it all I think it is tough but you have the right group behind you the right village and um, anything is possible um, I do think emotionally it can take a toll on you trying to balance both but at the end of the day it's worth it and you get to see your little one grow up and they're looking at you and they want to be just like you so I think every moment's worth it. What I'm most excited for, um, I think just the experiences that we're going to have together. Obviously, you know, I hope she likes to play sports. We both love sports and it was such a huge part of my childhood. But if she doesn't, it would be so cool to see what she's interested in. Like, does she want to play an instrument? Is she going to be a girly girl, a tomboy? Like, what's she going to be like? What are her interests going to be? Maybe she'll introduce me to new things that I've never tried before. It's exciting to share these moments with her and now that especially, especially that she's older she understands the game and you know Kelsey's her favorite player skill set wise or like I asked her who's the best player on the team and she's like Asia uh, so she's starting to fully uh, grasp like the concept of basketball and like being a professional and understanding like mommy's got to leave to go to work and I'll be back and she's like okay I'll watch your game so I appreciate that about her she's She's a trooper and she's able to, to help me manage this life. Her teacher left me a message um, a few weeks ago and I saw, I happened to read it right before the game, which probably was a bad idea, but she was just like, you know, Amaya's so proud of you and she talks about you. You should see the way she glows when the students ask. Like anytime she does something good, she wants to send it to her mommy. And I think sometimes I'm hard on myself because I feel bad like during the season that I'm not with her as much. So for her teacher to, to say that and send me that meant a lot. So there are so many great mothers to look up to in the league. Um, so the ones I've talked to the most, I talked to um, Candace Parker the most. I talked to Dierica a little bit and Bria Hartley a little bit, but Candace is definitely the person that I kind of got all my questions out with. Kind of just talking to Candace about what her return looked like also because that was one of my big worries is how am I going to do this, what's going to be the best way. She kind of just talked about, you know, listening to your body and really about how beautiful the experience is though and to have that baby to look at them and having them give you your why um, for why you do the things that you do now and how just beautiful that is and explaining to me that feeling that I'll have in the future when we talked and now I understand what she was talking about. What I've learned so far about working out while pregnant and then this return is um, you can't push your body the way that you did before. 
when I, before I was pregnant, you could push it, you know, as hard as you think your breaking point is. And, you know, you know what your body can do and it hurts, but, you know, you're not hurting yourself. And then when I got pregnant, it's not just about me anymore. There's a human inside of me that I have to worry about. So I can't push my body the way that I did before because it'll affect her. And it'll take a while before my body feels like it used to and it feels like my own again. So I'm really listening to you know my doctors and my trainers because I don't know what this new body is like in this stage. The most difficult part was like training and thinking I would be okay from being away with her of being away from her. I nursed and so when I was gone, I like really missed her. And so physically, um, it wasn't as difficult as I thought it would be. I did a lot of pool workouts to get me going until my body kind of formed back. But it was more mentally like, I really just wanted to spend every moment with her. So those workouts were difficult in that way. Honestly, I don't know why society continues to doubt women over and over again, because we prove ourselves over and over again. And that narrative that you can't come back the same as you were after having a child is absolutely not true. Um, it might take a little longer and the recovery might look different than with some other kind of injury or sitting out or whatever, but you can absolutely be to where you were or better than before. This mom strength term is, I think you see it, players elevate after they give birth in my opinion. and. People will tell you all the time, I'm a different player than I was before I had birth to my. A lot of that comes with maturity as well, but just the toughness that I play with and um, the, like the hunger and like the drive and the, the heart that I play with, I think it comes from giving birth and it's, it's just different. Like you become a mom and it's different. <laughs>